Brothers and sisters and subscribers, thank you for watching. My name is Don. I want to do an in interesting video because I found out some very interesting information that you know shows God's hand in the all over the universe. He left his mark, his blueprint, as it were. Um, there's a set of sequence of numbers. There are many beautiful examples of how Fibonacci numbers or certain numbers are in nature. You know, Fibonacci numbers. Uh, and, you know, these numbers are employed in nature. A certain sequence, sequence of numbers I will tell you about that occur in nature. It's not random or arbitrary because God... It shows mathematics, you know, Fibonacci numbers. And this person, Fibonacci, uh, over here, he, he, this mathematician in the Middle Ages, he's uh, Fibonacci. This one here, um, what's his name? Fibonacci. I'll tell you a bit about him. He discovered, he's, you know, he discovered these numbers reoccurring all the time. These are God's blueprint to say I created everything, you know. So it said here, Fibonacci, also known as Leonardo Bonacci. Leonardo uh, of Pisa or Leonardo Bigolo Pisano was an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician in the Middle Ages. So, so if, uh, the name is he is commonly called is Fibonacci. It, it's short, uh, a sort of sh uh, which it is a short for Philus Bonacci or son of Bonacci. Fibonacci means son of Bonacci. However, this is it. However, even early in 1506, a notary of the, the Holy Roman Empire, Ponzolo, mentions Leonardo as Leonardo Fibonacci. Fibonacci popularized Indo Arabic numeral systems in the Western world, primarily through the composition of a, in 1202, of a book that he wrote, Libra Abica, or Book of Calculations. In that, he introduced the Fibonacci numbers in this book he, he wrote in 1202, Libra Abaci. And it shows an example of these Fibonacci numbers. Well, can you imagine it? God's blueprint is in nature. God's set of sequence of numbers are in nature. I will show you a little bit video and then I'll speak more about it. Individuality, the trademark of any artist, designer or architect. Each desires a uniqueness to their creation, a quality that separates it from any other Man naturally has this individuality, his fingerprint. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on the face of the earth, and no two fingerprints are the same. Everything we touch or make contact with is printed with a small expressed image revealing to all who see it who was there. Around 1200 AD, a man named Leonardo Bassano better known as Fibonacci, who was a famous mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented mathematician of the Middle Ages. Pisano discovered a sequence of numbers that created a very interesting pattern. The sequence begins with the numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and continues indefinitely. Each number is obtained by adding the last two digits together. A rectangle with the length and width of any two of the numbers of this sequence forms what is known as the golden rectangle, a perfect rectangle. A golden rectangle can be broken down into squares the size
rise of the next Fibonacci numbers down and below. If we were to take a perfect or a golden rectangle, break it down into smaller squares based on Fibonacci's sequence, and divide each with an arc, the patterns begin to take shape. We begin to see Fibonacci's spiral. The spiral in and of itself is insignificant. Its importance is revealed in where we find it. Take, for example, the sunflower. The display of its florins are in perfect spirals of 55, 34, and 21, the sequence of Fibonacci. The fruitlets of the pineapple create the same spiral based on the sequence. The pine cone does the same. As currents move through the ocean and the tide rolls on to the shore, the waves that bring in the tide curve into a spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed onto a plot at the points 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. Buds on trees, sand dollars, starfish, petals on flowers, and especially the nautilus shell are formed with this exact same blueprint. With each segment of growth, the nautilus adds to itself one more value on Fibonacci scale. This blueprint can be seen around us on a small scale every day. But the greatest example of all is directly above our heads. Even the spiral of the celestial bodies above us are formed with the exact design that the tiny shell is formed. This sequence or blueprint appears to be the trademark of a designer, a proof of a creator, something left behind, indicating the one who was there, a fingerprint. As we scan our universe, from the tiny flower to the celestial bodies above, we see the fingerprint of God. Now this uh, mathematical sequence was discovered in 1100 AD and it's been hidden from us. They do not teach you this in public school. Now I'm going to switch the camera around and show you how this works really, really quick. Okay, we start the sequence out with a simple rectangle and then we make smaller rectangles within that rectangle. Okay, now here's the sequence. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. And the sequence can just continue on indefinitely. There's no end to it. Uh, we can just keep adding to it, and it just keeps growing larger and larger. 8 and 13 is 21. And you start your spiral going from the first number outward, and that is the Fibonacci sequence. And this simple little mathematical sequence proves that there's a creator and there's a reason there's a reason why the government would not allow this well actually they'll allow it they won't fund this sequence to be taught in public schools even though it was discovered almost a thousand years ago there's a reason why they will not fund this mathematical sequence to be taught in school. For one, it proves there's only one creator, one fingerprint who created everything because everything, every design created lines up with this sequence. And if they taught that in school, it would wake a lot of people up and they'd be like, well, wait a minute. Everything on earth has this same mathematical design all the way down to our own DNA. You see what I'm saying? It would kill evolution theory and it would kill the Big Bang theory. That's why this is not allowed to be taught in the public schools. It's time to wake up, people. Thanks for watching. Well, isn't that excellent? I mean, well, I mean, that's amazing. God's, you know, as the brother said, God left his fingerprint blueprint in all creation it's all around us but they're you know they're suppressing the truth and teaching lies and through science you know evolution and the big bang as the brother says but they're suppressing the truth there's reoccurring repeating patterns um, as ratios and shapes discovered by Fibonacci because he was a mathematician one, the best one of the best mathematicians in the Middle Ages. Uh, and this is what he said. 
uh, he found in nature occurring everywhere I'll speak more about what one one two so the previous two numbers make the next number two and one and two is three two and three is five you know three and five is eight and then 13 and 21 and it goes on and on and on Fibonacci discovered it but it was already there <laughs> in, in creation you know and as the, the video showed it's all over nature that's very interesting I thought you know you know he said in, in a pineapple in, a, in the pine cones uh, in the these the, these what do you call it the spirals of the waves of when coming to shore starfish petals and flowers buds on trees even the spiral galaxies they've all got this spiral made up of the Fibonacci numbers these special see you know sequence of numbers the, as in, the man said the fingerprint of god the blueprint of creation all around us it shows that god is a creator and a designer it's got a fingerprint of god just like everybody's got fingerprints that are different as, as he said even in our dna he said that these fibonacci numbers and talking about so uh, what do you call it he, he mentions the uh, the sunflower. Oh. Let, me, let me show you a picture of uh, a sunflower, which shows uh, the Fibonacci numbers in nature. You know the spirals. You know. Um, here we go. This is it. The sunflower is a perfect example of the Fibonacci sequence, and corresponding golden ratio appearing in nature. Is it? See how the florets are arranged in a in a, a spiral pattern, both clockwise and anti-clockwise fashion. There are thirty-four spirals that turn clockwise, and twenty-one spirals that turn anti-clockwise. The counterclockwise spirals appear to grow grow in according to the gold, golden ratio. Isn't that amazing? So it shows in nature in the sunflower. Also, he mentioned uh, this, uh, what do you call it, the Fibonacci sequence and the golden uh, ratio is also in the Nautilus shell there. As you can see there, that's the inside of the Nautilus, Nautilus shell. And it going small, and you can see the spiral small and then getting bigger and bigger, according to the Fibonacci sequence there isn't it amazing you know it's all over the place god's uh, fingerprint and here the fibonacci sequence as he said you know, this is a, a perfect rectangle or the golden ratio as they say and of fibonacci sequence Fibonacci code, but it's not really, it's God's code, you know, God's math, you know, God's the greatest mathematician there is, you know, he just discovered it, what well, it was already there, God is the mathematician, and as you can see, perfect rectangle or go golden uh, square, one, one, two, and one, two, three, three, two, five. And it makes a spiral, and it can you can add to it, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's all over nature, as I, I repeat it in a sunflower, pineapple, pine coal cone. The waves, when it comes, hits the shore. You know, starfish, petals of a flower, buds of trees, nautilus shells. Spiral galaxies in our DNA, it's everywhere. You know, it proves that evolution and the Big Bang that we're taught in schools is, 
is is completely false. You know, the, the cabal, the Luciferian elite, they want you not to believe that God exists. But, you know, his fingerprint is all over the place with Fibonacci numbers or sequence that appear on and on all the time. And they repeat um, these, as I said, these repeating numbers, you know, these are the repeating number that occur in nature, in patterns, uh, as ratios and shapes. Let me read Hebrews 11 and 3. Uh, to finish off, by faith we understand that the universe was created by God's command, so that what is seen has been made from things that are not visible. So it says here, by faith, we need to have faith that the universe was created by God's command, because, because it it shows all around everything. It just shows that God created everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please, you know, believe that God created everything. And, he, and it, it shows in these sequence of numbers, mathematical numbers, he left a blueprint in nature so we may know that he exists. And, uh, you know, put your faith in him. And, you know, if you haven't come to know Christ, please, please do. Put faith in his son, Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of the world to gain salvation. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless.